Should they stay or should they go? It's the question right now in one Bay Area city where some trees are dangerously close to power lines. There is a plan to cut those trees down, but Don Ford shows us neighbors, they're the ones putting up a fight. This beautiful Valamar neighborhood in Pacifica is lined with palm trees, some very old palm trees, and some of them are in serious trouble. They've been growing under PG&E power lines for decades, and now many are very close to high voltage lines. PG&E says some of the palm trees can no longer be safely trimmed and should be cut down. Eileen Cura says no. She wants PG&E to move the wires and save the trees. Take down the poles and put them underground. They're safer under there anyways. I mean, there's always going to be an issue with weather and trees and telephone poles. Dan Vinal and his wife moved here specifically for the trees. But the trees were here before the PG&E wires. So apparently the only reason the trees are coming down is because it's cheaper than moving the PG&E wires. These trees need to stay. PG&E, in my opinion, really has no right taking down something that was here first. PG&E spokesman Joe Malika says the community still has options. So some of the options available would be to raise the power poles uh, that are existing there or to move the power poles or to try to uh, put those underground. All those solutions cost money and PG&E is not paying that bill. The fate of these nearly 100 year old trees, the Pacifica Palms, is very much in doubt. But there's one thing that is clear, change is coming. Pacifica Beach and Rec Commissioner Greg Cochran says it's too late to save three of the palms. To recommend that these particular trees, three of them, be taken down because of safety issues. PG&E, Pacifica and the neighbors will meet again later this month to try and save the palms. In Pacifica, Don Ford, CBS 5.